Hi, in this and the subsequent sessions, we are going to discuss several extensions to hierarchical clustering. Hierarchical clustering methods look simple, but on the other hand, there are some weaknesses of hierarchical clustering method. The first weakness is the method can never undo what was done previously. For devising methods, you first try to figure out how to divide one cluster into two subclusters. But once you divide them into two subclusters, you work on each subcluster and try to do further splitting. You will never be able to merge them back again and try to adjust some particular elements. Even for agglomerative clustering, the philosophy is similar in the sense once you try to merge two clusters into one, the subsequent uh, you know, analysis will be treating this one as one unit. You never split it again and you try to see whether other subcluster obtained so far can be further merged. Okay. This you know, requires you for every split or merge must be finer. That's too high requirement to generate high quality clusters. The second problem is the methods may not scale well. Just because every time when you try to merge, you try to check all the possible pairs. So the complexity is at least n square. When you want to split, you try many different possible choices, try to find the best split. The complexity is also high. There are some developments on other hierarchical clustering algorithms. In this lecture, we are going to introduce three of them. One is a Birch developed in 1996. It used micro clustering and macro clustering idea. So using clustering feature tree and incrementally adjust the quality of subclusters. The second one we are going to introduce is called Cure, developed in 1998. That method essentially is to represent a cluster using a set of well-scattered representative points. The third one, Chameleon, it was developed in 1999. It's used graph partitioning methods on Kenya's neighbor graph of the data. We will introduce all these three one by one. Mm -hmm.